Welcome to Green Bay's Metal Elite, the show where we talk about music and get drunk while doing it. Irving, Zach, and from 93.5 station up here in Green Bay, we have Ryan Fantosi. Thank you, Irv. Nice to be here with you guys. All right, cool. Well, this is a great start to an awesome, awesome night. Yeah, this is our uh, this is our first episode doing this. This is our first one. Um, yeah, I guess we kind of just decided, you know, to do something like this because just I don't know, we're all in the metal, hard <laughs> rock, and there's nothing like this going on in Green Bay. And there's a lot of terrible music out there right there's now. Kids, kids, kids can't be kids can't be <laughs> going towards so the Beaver and the Kesha stuff all the time. <laughs> they need something to look forward to. This guy over here likes fucking Lady Gaga though. Hey man. She's got Guilty. some all right stuff. Guilty pleasures. We'll get to that later. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Fuck it. Don't spoil it. We'll fuck yeah. we'll, we'll, We're on the topic now, all right? So you like Lady Gaga. Yes. Well, I, I like... You. I like late. I mean, I love metal. I love hard rock. But I also love the classics. Classic rock. I love that shit. I love the 80s. That's awesome. Hair bands. Hair bands. Hair bands. Hair bands. But I also <laughs> like the newer stuff. Like, okay, Lady Gaga. Fuck <laughs> Katy Perry. Okay, so I like some of Rihanna's not. stuff. Katy Perry, yeah, she, Katy Perry is very attractive, and Rihanna's got some good stuff too. Her, yeah, her, not her, her looks have kind of like faded away. I don't know what happened to her. She like got really, really I mean, quick. Yeah. Rihanna. Yeah, she was hot like a couple years ago, but now she's kind of. I feel like I, I just, I, I never really liked her. No. I don't know. Well, what's your your guilty music? I'll be honest, you said Limp Bizkit. <laughs> Lip, I don't know. I feel like I take, I've taken a lot of flack for being a big Limp Bizkit fan. When they came on, like, when, when they got big, like in 98, 99, I was a 12, 13 year old kid. <laughs> that was the cool thing at the time. And I was, what, we were, what, 9, 10? Yeah. If you didn't know, I'm a little bit older than these guys. It's <laughs> by a couple years, not much, but a few. But yeah, Limp Bizkit, I was a huge fan coming out. And yeah, once but I mean, that's not really guilty, guilty, though. I mean, no. Like, do you not like like pop at all? Like, there's there's at, there's at one all, song. I, I admitted this to the girl who DJs for 93 Rock in the afternoons. The her hey, name's B-O- Amber. Amber. Okay. Yep, Amber Lee from 93 Rock. Um, the B O B Haley Williams song. The whatever song. <laughs> I don't know what it is, but that song is very calming. Is, is that the one with airplanes? Whatever. Airplane. The, whatever the hell it's called. I okay. feel really. I feel like I should give him my man card for like that song. That song. I, I but, maybe if I heard it, I would throw it out offhand. I like I hate pop music, but that's the one song that's kind of like yeah, I can I can deal with well, it. If, like, if I'm driving around, that song comes on. <laughs> I'm probably not going to change the radio for that one, but yeah. but only that song. Like you don't have you don't know like you really have a whole lot more to be yeah. honest. See what about you? Or... Uh, I got oh, so no, I, I know I know like, he's like, <laughs> <laughs> I I hate the pop scene here. It, some of it can be halfway. De- I like what do you uh, call me, baby? Oh, Kyler Ray Jasmine. Yeah, I like. Did you that see song. her nude photos? Or did anything ever come of that? She's got a nude photo. Apparently, like a month ago, she apparently had a sex mm-hmm. tape, which I think was just made up. But apparently, she had nude photos or something. I, I I'd call her. <laughs> <laughs> especially, especially after that. Actually. Especially after that. Yes. <laughs> hey, Carly Ray, if uh, you ever see this. <laughs> You can be a guest. You got a big fan right here. <laughs> man who loves fan. metal, big but big, very big fan. <laughs> no, but uh, yeah, like I mean, like, some of the stuff here, the m- more of the stuff that I actually like is from Europe. That Euro pop shit. Oh, um, Gangnam Style. No, or, oh, oh, I admit that's a guilty that, that, pleasure. That's K pop. Okay. That's K pop. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I actually liked that song when I first heard it, it like uh, a couple months ago. We just um, my buddy's wedding back in Ohio. We just did the uh, dance. We got kind of drunk at his <laughs> wedding, and we we're out there Gangnam Style in it. So. Uh, were we at uh, Neg's, and then there were people outside doing that, like was. people that you were with? I want to get in there. Oh, yeah. Well, really? my, one of my buddies coming from Ohio was doing that. Uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Hey. He was a big fan of Gangnam Style. <laughs> yeah, let's see. So, I like the European, like, Asian stuff. I want to say my favorite right now is, her name's Ina. Never heard of her. <sighs> you showed me some of her stuff. It's pretty, it's pretty good. <laughs> I mean, it's pretty saucy. You can yeah, say. It's <laughs> it's raunchy raunchy video, yeah. Oh, yeah. Raunchy. oh, okay. <laughs> oh, man, I actually to sit through some raunchy videos the other night. Oh, really? Yeah. Like what? Christina Aguilera, dirty. Oh, my, my buddy, I was over, I was over watching. <laughs> I football. totally know what you're yeah, talking. Yeah, I was over watching football at my buddy's place on Saturday, and 
his wife was talking about this video, and I was like, okay, I need to see it, because I think Christina Aguilar is still hot. Uh, as compared to that video? Compared to that video, no. <laughs> no. Compared to that video, no. But when they, they're like, Ryan, let's show you the video. I was like, okay, and I watched it, and my eyes just went. And then what's his, Redman's in that, he's not too bad. Yeah, right? Redman's in that, yeah. Method Man, I think it's, is it, or is it Redman? Mm-hmm. Okay. Redman's the shorter one, and Method Man's the shorter one. Did you ever, have you ever seen the show on Fox, the Method Man and Red Man show? I remember it, but I don't think I ever watched it. <laughs> I remember it being pretty fucking hilarious. It's these two black guys, like, they move into a mansion in, like, the suburbs. Okay. And it's, like, just, like, them, like, smoking weed and shit with, like, their neighbors. They've got TVs in, like, their fridge. Then it's, they, I remember this specifically, they had a TV on the outside of their fridge, and then, like, when they opened it up, there was another TV inside of the fridge. <laughs> I mean, hey, if you got money to do that, you can just do it. Aren't both those guys in Wu-Tang? I'm pretty sure they were, yeah. yeah. Have you ever seen the Wu-Tang Cribs? Like, the MTV Cribs, I think no. it was. They're, like, walking on, like, through the house or whatever. And you, like, go down to the basement, and there's, like, a bunch of dudes downstairs. And they have, like, this nice-ass pool table. And they're just, like, playing dice. Like, on the pool table. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, wow, that's fucking awesome. My favorite MTV Cribs is, uh, the Dave Chappelle Cribs one, where it's, like, they just, he, like, answers the door in, like, this white fur coat. He's like, oh, yo, yeah, can you go in? And they're like, oh, no, he's got two, uh, like, dinosaur eggs. And he just, like, he, like, breaks one and, like, makes scrambled eggs. Oh, yeah, I just that, yeah. <laughs> And then he like sprinkles it with uh, what is it, gold or diamonds? Yeah, yeah. It's he like ridiculous. sprinkles it with yeah. diamonds, and he's like, "I do this so that my shit sparkles when it comes out." <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Anyways, back to music. Some more music. Yeah. yeah. What's uh, what's next on what, the what's list? What's new? What is new in music? What's new in music? Well, I have written down that um, El Nino's CD. It doesn't come out until next Tuesday. But it's streaming online right now. What's so it guys, called? Uh, something with an E. I can't remember. I want to see if they had an album with it. They started with an E called an E. Um, no, it's it's like EM. Yeah, I'll look it up. <laughs> but yeah, I listened to it and like, I don't know. I like a lot of the older El Nino stuff. Even the, some of the new stuff is pretty good too. But like, I was not impressed at all by the new album. No. Uh, you guys saw them live, right? Yeah. What did you think of them live? Tell everybody what you thought of them live. I, I, I did like it. I liked it. I actually wrote a review on them for GB Nightlife. Nice. And they were, like, they were pretty legit. I was able to let out some aggression I had during the, yeah, was time. the whole time. I was in the pit the whole time. Because uh-huh. yeah. I was a big fan of them in high school, but kind of once I came up here for college, I really kind of lost track of what they had done. <laughs> And then when yeah. I saw that they were coming to Green Bay, it just so happened that I was back in Ohio for that week. <laughs> so that's why I relied on you guys to tell me and tell everybody else. You're going to live how, how, I'm going to live like Harrison. <laughs> <laughs> for yeah. Ben, I was a big fan of him. Every show that we go to, we'll tell you about it. You're like, oh, here we go. Yeah. No, they were good. It was a dread fest on stage. Like, every member for two of them. Man. <laughs> dread. Oh, that's what so Demia is what it looks like. But yeah, yeah, that's Demia. it. Yeah. And I think I want the E's. Enigma was on the one there. So so, yeah, the Enigma was the one I think I have Enigma. Yeah. I don't know, I wasn't too impressed by it, though. Yeah, yeah it comes out 22nd of October. That's oh, fuck, that's this week? Yeah. Next Tuesday. Yeah. Yep. Oh, then that comes out with House of Golden Bones by Stone Sour. Yeah. Okay, their new song, Absolute Zero. Absolute it's Zero huge and Gone on, Yeah, huge on the charts. Just following it in rock and everything. We're playing it now on 93 Rock. Um, another local station in out of Abington's playing it. What do you guys think of it? I, I love it. I think it's I, They came out with... Absolute Zero and God Sovereign together on their site is like mm-hmm. a long streaming like track. It's like a seven and a half like, minute right track. both songs yeah. together. I thought they actually flowed. I couldn't tell when the next song like when when the first song ended mm-hmm. and the second song. Yeah, Sovereign kind of it, it flowed real real well. Very yeah, well. Sovereign, I don't know. I watched the music video for it, and I don't know. It was a, it was a okay. The song. video's not very. I mean, it's not that it, the music video sucked. It's just. It wasn't like yeah, a, I mean, a, a video. Yeah. As far as the song goes, yeah. As far as the song goes, I mean, it was it was okay. I liked uh, what was the other name of the other one? Absolute Zero. Yeah, I like that one better. Yeah, I like that one better. Yeah, that's the one that got released as an actual single on the radio. I think I like. I might like that one better. Yeah. 
Someone's pretty good, but absolute zero is a little got a little bit more direction to it, I think. Yeah. The other one. Yeah, and then he's doing like what System did a couple of, uh, with their last two albums is they're releasing one giant CD as two uh, separate ones. Mm -hmm. So this, oh, okay. was, this was called Part One, and yeah. then it was gonna be called Part Two. I think the one comes out in early 2013. I think that's when the second part. Are they do, do you know if they're doing it uh, six months apart? I don't know if it's I'm six gonna, months I'm apart. I want to say if I read that or. Well, if I, if so I, we have a computer. If, if, I, if I just felt that it'd be six months apart. Yeah. So I want to say the Mesmerized Hypnotize was a six-month time, time see, lapse. Uh, House of Golden Bones Part 1 and 2. So, so, uh, they just have Part 2, 2013. Nothing really shows yeah. when that one's coming out. But yeah, like you said, Part 1 comes out next week. That's the one's got Absolute right. Zero and Gone Sovereign on it. I believe those are the first two tracks on the actual scene. Yeah, I think they are. Okay. So I want to say that on their Facebook or their sites, they, they've released like little snippets of each of their other songs. <laughs> so definitely check it out. I mean, it's I'm been a while since we've I mean, anything Corey Taylor does. Gonna <laughs> definitely going to pay attention. Did you ever listen to, to his it. Christmas song? I don't think I've ever heard that. Did, did you hear that? Mm -hmm. Oh, it was, it, was pretty, it was pretty funny. It was just like, hey, I'm on acoustic. Making fun of like Christmas as a holiday. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I like, oh, fuck. I have to. I'd have to look it up. But I haven't heard that. I want to say it came out like two or three years mm -hmm. ago. It's pretty funny. <laughs> Al and on his uh, status updates, updates that he does, he's been saying that he wants to release like a disco album or uh, <laughs> the hell? disco or something like something along those like comedic uh, lines. I think I take back what I said. That <laughs> yeah, right. disco, I don't know if about a disco album. I mean, that might have been cool, like, when my parents were... Hey, Kiss did it. They came out with the disco album. <sighs> oh, I actually heard today that Kiss and Aerosmith have, like, this feud going yeah. on. Steven Tyler called them a comic band or whatever. I want to say I actually heard it uh, today on, on your guys' station. Yeah. Yeah. What happened? I mean, yeah, about that. Yeah, um, Steven Tyler's just, I don't know. Seems like ever since he went on American Idol, he's decided to be like every other pop artist out there. I feel like he was like that before. Well, I, American Idol. Yeah. I don't know, but I don't, I don't like American Idol. I just oh, kind of fuck it. American Idol. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. Uh, I basically said that Kiss was like a comic book band. Oh, yeah, I, I did. Yeah. All, like, maybe because of the makeup and things like that, but. This guy's been doing that for, what, 30-some years with yeah. the makeup and everything? And, uh, I don't forget what movie it was, but if there's any truth to it, wasn't the makeup to hide the fact that they were Jewish? Yeah, right? yeah. that was yeah. role models. Role models, yeah. Role models. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't know if Jews could sing like that. They could, that's why they wore makeup. That's why they wore makeup, yeah. Yeah. But yeah, and then, uh, yeah, Paul Stanley, was it Paul Stanley that was making fun of him or someone else? I don't know, but I read something that, like, they were, like, him and like Paul Stanley and Gene Simmons were all like getting like really close with each other, and then he said this. Yeah, because they had. So like I don't a, know. I don't know what's going on. They had like a headlining mm -hmm. tour together, or like a co-headlining tour, and then Aerosmith. Oh, was, was that one? Well, was, you had was the crew. You had the crew and Kiss this past summer. Right, right. I want to say like when I was hearing the that thing on the radio. So oh, okay. It was like five-ish years ago. Uh, Steven Tyler said he wanted like. An extra 15 minutes, or like he wanted to close the set or something, okay. and Paul Stan was just like, I don't fucking care if you <laughs> close or not, as long as we get to play, so, uh, something along those lines, and then it just like fucking snowballed from there. Speaking of feuds, Adam, Rob Zombie, Rob oh, Zombie, oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. okay, is there a possibility that any of this is set up? Because it took so long for these two guys, of two of the most controversial guys, in rock and roll probably about the last, what, 15 years, you'd figure, 15, 20 years, that they finally do this tour together, and you think that they're doing this shit on purpose. I mean, Manson's pissed off because he went on late, and Zombie's like, fuck you, I'm not going <laughs> to play longer. And yeah, then, he, right. then he covers Alice Cooper's schools out. Did and, you see that video? Yeah, the yeah, video was, fuck yeah. Marilyn Manson. Wait, well, you were talking like, that yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, don't, uh, I don't know, man. I see. I uh, I've seen Marilyn Manson live once. I I still want to see Rob Zombie. That'd be awesome. I saw Rob Zombie at the Mayhem Fest, and he was he was pretty killer. Yeah. Did you see him? Was it during the day or at night? It was at night. It was actually pouring rain during his set. Sure. <laughs> really? Yeah. I was gonna say like, cause fe like Mayhem's one of those long ones, 
I feel like a Rob Zombie show would be different during the day as opposed to at night. Yeah, it was actually them. I can't remember who else was on the main stage. Corn played after them. It was Rob oh, really? Zombie and Corn, and then I think it was. I want to say Lamb of God, maybe. Oh, shit. Who played before Rob Zombie. Or no, maybe it was Five Finger. I don't remember. Well, speaking of Lamb of God, you're going to see them next. Yeah, week? November 9th. November 9th. So that's like... With two, who? Three weeks. Me and Nate are going. I mean, like, who are they playing with? Um, <laughs> <laughs> they're playing... <laughs> Sorry, man. <I'm>, um, <laughs> they're playing with In Flames, and I think... Hatebreed is doing that date, and then Silosis. I saw Hatebreed once. Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah, I'm, I'm not a huge Hatebreed fan. I don't, I don't know. I know their one song, their one single that they came out with like a decade ago. Yeah, I think it was on like the Triple X movie or something. With I, well, I think you're right. Yeah. I can't remember what it's called, but I have it on my iTunes. I know, I have, it, I have it upstairs. I really, I actually like Jamie Joss's stuff a lot better than the Hate Breed stuff. Like his solo oh, stuff. Oh yeah, yeah, I, I heard his solo stuff. I like that a lot better. I uh, was yeah, I saw Hate Breed live once. They did a a cover of Walk, I think. No, no, no. no. Really? Avenged oh, Sevenfold, dude. I actually saw Avenged Sevenfold before seeing them in December. Okay. I just remembered that. <laughs> they, they were phenomenal live. They were. I not a big fan of them, but I or I wasn't a big fan. I will be hurt. I wasn't a fan Sorry. at all. Yeah, I will be hurt. Okay. I wasn't a fan of all really before seeing them, and then I was a pretty big fan, and then I just don't care now. <laughs> <laughs> There's always those bands that once you see live, it's like holy right. Yeah, yeah. Shit. Cause that was kind of how I was really with Avenged. Like, I had never seen Avenged live, and I liked their stuff, and it was after I saw them. I think I listen to them constantly for the next month. They have a new song out called right. Carry On right now, I heard which is that. pretty good. It's on the Black Ops 2, if any of you're a big Black That's Ops. That's what, yeah. How can, why would... Uh, this is the second time they've done it. They're, they did one for Black Ops, the first one. Okay. It's one of those exclusive type things. That's yeah, I feel like at song. that point you're just making music for money, not for the fans. I don't know. I don't know. It's, it's a good song. song. I mean, it's... Okay. Uh, Actually, when I first when I heard it on the radio, I, I thought it was Metallica. Like, oh, this is a song I've never heard about Metallica. Yeah, they kind of have those long, long intros solos, in the beginning. Yeah. I've always been a, I, that's why one of the big reasons I love Metallica is because you get the instrumental part. I just love listening to the instrumentals. That's, I think, a big reason why rock isn't as big now. I think all these kids don't want to listen to instrumentals. Mm -hmm. There's so many people that's I know. Point, there's yeah. so many people I know. Like one of my roommates, Kyle, he likes rock. <laughs> But anytime I give him a Metallica oh, song, yeah. anytime, anytime I give him a Metallica song, he's like, I need to crop this down because what? there's like a minute and a half of just music at the beginning. I'm like, yeah, that's talent. <laughs> yeah. What? That's the like, you're yeah. Playing, yeah, like they're playing instruments. And I'm air banding. I mean, I have no, I and I have no musical talent. I can't play any instruments. <laughs> I can play trumpet in high school. That's about it. Trumpet. Trumpet. <laughs> but when it comes to guitar, drums, I can't do any of that stuff. So whenever I listen to that, I'm like, dude, like um. Five Figure Death Punch on their second CD has one song that's just like four minutes of instrumental. And I love listening to it because it's just, it's just great. It's like, good. listen to these guys' talent. Uh, that video that you linked me, what, what was it called, the documentary? Which one, please? The, the, the metal, recent, yeah, oh, the, the recent, metal one. The I only think. documentary you fucking <laughs> linked me. I think it was just like, uh, what is it? I think it was just Metal, a Headbanger's Journey. Did you ever hear that? Was, that was called. It, was, it came out in like 2005. It's okay. uh, this dude from Sweden, Norway? I don't know. I think he's from the US, maybe. Oh, uh, yeah, just a guy like. I think he guy works for a, a company, I'm pretty sure. Uh, uh, like him going to Vakken? Yeah, he goes to Vakken and like. Oh, you like, ever heard of that? It's, you never heard of Vakken? No. It's, oh, man. Dude, there's so many big <laughs> European music festivals. We could have a show one day at yeah. all the European music festivals. Like, see, what's, there's there's Vakken, Rock, Rock and Ring, Ring Rock and Park, okay, Download, yeah, I know the other two. Download. Download. Uh, Blood, or what's the new one? Fuck, like Blood Fest or something? Fuck, that sounds a little too extreme. There's a metal one, I think, in Italy that's going on, that goes on too. Hellfest is one. Hellfest, I've heard, yeah. What's that one with fucking A? <laughs> 
But yeah, it's, it's this dude, like... I have to, I have to look it up. Hold on. <laughs> who, like, uh, just documents himself going to Vakken and mm -hmm. does interviews with, like, Dio, uh, Rob Zombie, I want to say Monkey from Corn. Okay. I'm going with uh, Gal from the band Gorgoroth. I was, I was getting, I wanted to make it a bigger, like, intro for that. Sorry. Yeah, yeah, but. <laughs> so they're, uh, but, like, there's a, they, like, put this giant chart of, like, where, like, Hard Rock started. Mm -hmm. And, like, at the very top, it was uh, Zeppelin, Deep Purple, a couple other bands I'd never heard of, and then, like, Black Sabbath was at the bottom of that list. Okay. But then it, like, branches out hard into, like, all these other genres. And then, like, the heavy, like, heavy, like, metal uh, for Europe is the Norwegian death metal. And there was this band, Gogoroth. Bloodstock is the name of the band. Bloodstock, Blood yeah. Me. And so this guy, like, interviews, what was it, like, their singer, guitarist? He's, yeah, he's, <laughs> and, like, he's the lead singer. a basement dash, like, wine cellar dash, like, murder room. <laughs> Something like <laughs> Saw, basically. Is the <laughs> no, I, I was scared, I was band. scared for that guy when he was interviewed. He, like, what did he ask him, like, uh, what do you think about... Or he's like, no, what's the, dr like, the driving force of Gorgoroth? And yeah. the guy just, like, doesn't say anything. Yeah, like, it's, like, it's like him. Him. He's, like, sitting like this, like, leaning back. Grabs his drink like slowly, and then what does he say? Like, just like death, Satan, Satan. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, that was yeah. his response to like three questions, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, it's just, and uh -huh. it's just like, what does that like mean to you? It's just like freedom. Yeah, <laughs> I was like, fuck. I, I was fucking scared yeah. for that guy. I thought yeah. he was gonna get killed. No, that was like I saw that a few years ago. That documentary and. That was, like, the first time, like, that scene kind of was, like, whoa, kind of, like, eye-opener. So, like, <laughs> um, have you ever heard of it, Until the Light Takes Us? That's another one, a really good documentary about black metal. Oh, okay. Like, and, like, they interview, like, the drummer from weird. Dark Throne and stuff. <laughs> and, I don't know. That's, that's a good one, too. Yeah, you should link me that. It's good. <laughs> Fun. Yeah, that's just, just a scary genre of music. I like it a lot. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, what I wanted to do in the future was get a friend of mine from work. He's into the European, like, heavy metal mm -hmm. scene. Yeah, he should, like, give me a bunch of music. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what else is there? Uh, Nonpoint, did you listen to the new album? I've, I've heard the, I said it, and then Left For You. Left For You? Oh, I've been just crazy. They're going to be in Appleton here soon. Yeah, yeah I told you about be, that. I know. He told me about that. His girlfriend told him about that. His girlfriend's... Hairstylist told her about it. Oh. Before it was even released. I think. <laughs> yeah, I know, that's the thing now, it's I know information about Rock USA, but I can't release. Oh, do you really? Yeah. Oh, that's pretty cool. Absolutely, I honestly, I can't say. But uh, as soon as I can he's say. He's not saying anything. I'm not saying anything. <laughs> but as soon as I am allowed to say, this is probably months down the road, probably. I can really release it. Did, did Rock USA like just happened, didn't yeah, it? Yeah, like but now June? I think, dude. Do I? All right. From what I was told, is, is, it's, it, is it worth? It's buying? it is going to be yeah. When you hear everything that's going on, I can tell you all out there. If you ever come to Wisconsin, Rock USA is going to be okay, so a you, huge rock show. You're probably not going to be able to say any like I can't give details negative. because what I saw right after. Their sh uh, that concert was. Well, I know you got upset with Corn and the Sounds, right? No, no, that's, no, that's no, 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 no. I, I wasn't even going to mention that, but. Uh, but this last year, I want to say that Rocky was say posted, "Can we get Rammstein to play?" <laughs> <laughs> if they got Rammstein, I'd... I see they wouldn't even be able to be crazy. Crazy. I, would just, <laughs> I would be there so fast. Even the Mayhem Festival doesn't even have like that many foreign bands, which is real disappointing. So I, I just think I think foreign bands are hard to get here in the U.S. Well, like, yeah. That's, yeah. That, and that's the thing is, I think why we're starting now with Rock USA is we've done it for a couple years. Two, we're, two years. <laughs> it's like, it's like the third of the summer. Um, you know, the thing is, is I hate to bring up Country USA, but the fact that I work in radio, I know about Country USA. I'm hey, sorry. It, it works. It's it a works. public apology. I don't like country. It's my least favorite genre. Fuck country, yeah. I so, hate you. but they'll have like a list of bands like two weeks after Country USA. I, yeah, I had noticed because that. the. 
the earlier you can get the scheduling people want things, to play the better bands you can get. And I can tell you with Rock USA, I know one band they've signed, others they're working on. You, you'll be happy. <laughs> we'll see about that. I hope so. Because <laughs> who played last year? Well, Kid Rock? No. Oh, God. <laughs> yeah, yeah. What the hell? I, like the Limp Bizkit phase, I became a huge Kid Rock fan, like 98, 99, Devil Without a Cause, had Cowboy on it, Bull God, mm-hmm. Only God Knows Why, and Ball at the Ball. And I loved that CD. Dude, I remember being in 6th or 7th grade, and I couldn't wait for MTV to play Ball at the Ball. <laughs> I couldn't wait. because I thought that Wait, wait, wait. Was, MTV was, played music videos? Back in the day, yes, it did. Back one day, there was music videos. On it was MTV. magic. And they also sometimes had rock music. It was the craziest thing in the world. But to, to hear his set list this year, like, he didn't even play American Badass. He didn't... Really? He didn't play Bull God. Um... I mean, it was just absolutely disappointing. His set list, but Seether was very good. I don't know if you guys are fans of Seether. I, I I've grown to like Seether a lot more. But Seether yeah. played their heavy stuff. They didn't mm-hmm. play like the only poppy really song they played was um, their country song. <laughs> I don't actually mind that. I hate that song when it came out, but I don't actually mind it now. I was and I was kind of drunk when that song came out, <laughs> so I was having a good time. <laughs> I feel it. like they might have written it to make fun of country. I don't I know. Hope so. yeah, I mean, I hope so. I hope so. I mean, yeah. We want that to be the yeah. truth. But Drowning Pool was there this past year. Their new lead singer sounds phenomenal. Oh, they had their new lead singer? Yeah. New lead singer was something great. Um, Filter came back. I mean, I don't know if you guys are fans of Filter back in the day. I want to say, yeah, but Filter passed through here recently. Filter. Where they got, like, Hey Man. Hey Man, they shot. Take a picture. I take a picture. I take a picture. But <laughs> Welcome, <laughs> Welcome to the Fold is a good song, too. That's another one to look up. Um, Skillet was there. I'm a big fan of Skillet. Shine Down. Who puts on a good show live, and then Papa Roach, who, like I'll send you guys off camera, is kind of one of my disappointing downhill bands. Did you hear their new song? Still swinging. Yeah. They go like random dubstep. It's like I was going like, where the hell did this come from? There are literally like three songs, like three different songs in that one song. Yeah. I I'm like I I'm, 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 it's been like five, six, seven hours since I heard that song, and I still don't know if I like it or not. Yeah, so, I've heard it quite a bit. It's kind of grown on me a little I, I, bit. Yeah, I just heard it today. But it's the portion of dubstep. Like, Korn could pull off the dubstep. Because, because that, that, was their, that was a concept of yeah. the album is going to be a metal yeah. dubstep. But that Papa Roach song is like... So I want to say, I, it reminded me of, like, Fall Out Boy. The Fall Out Boy type of sound yeah. mixed with dubstep, mixed with, like, actual hard rock. Yeah. And it's... And they all have their own individual tempos mm-hmm. that made them sound like they're three different songs just mashed together. Yeah. The dubstep portion is kind of like when your TV would like experience crappy weather and it would like cut in yeah, and out. Yeah, it was like, like cut in and out. Like, uh, I'm like, wait, that, the, like the laser kind of sound. Yeah, I heard it. I was like, wait, what's going on with my radio? Oh, okay, so <laughs> oh wait, we're good. It's, it's okay, we're song, good. Right. <laughs> that part just sucks. Yeah, it, it did. Uh, I don't know. I want to. It just it didn't flow right that for that yeah. song. I agree. Yeah, their albums came out October second. Oh, it did come out. Songs. Um, the Hell Yeah CD I bought, and I told you, told you guys um, before we started. Basically, I believe their interview is in this Revolver magazine. <laughs> we also have the hottest chicks in rock, which Revolver. Is very good. Oh, this part of the uh, this part of the podcast brought to you by Revolver. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, you know, they had all the guys together, Mr. Chad Gray and Vinnie Paul, were like. You know, this is the third album we've done. Fuck it, let's just do what we do best and just make a killer metal album. Yeah, really, and, that's exactly, fucking good. and that's exactly what they did. It's hardcore from the start. I mean, there's maybe like one or two kind of softer songs in it, but for the most part, if you like metal, if you like Mudvayne, and if you like Pantera. Yeah, that, that third album this. really sounded mm-hmm. very much like both of those bands yeah. together. There's no like alcohol in the ass song. Like, mm-hmm. it's kind of twangy southern folk rock. Well, kind of yeah, shit, Pantera but, was Southern Rock, uh, right? Yeah, they were from Texas. Yeah, they're from Southern Metal. Yeah. Which I actually, have to take a piss. Oh dear. So hold on. <laughs> you guys keep talking. But yeah, I mean, I feel Southern Rock or Southern Metal really has a distinct sort of sound. Yeah. There's we'll watch a some more folky type. Yeah. Rock. You ever heard of uh, oh, the fuck was that? Texas Hippie Coalition? I have. Oh yeah, yeah, that's great. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's where the loose hair is huge. Oh my god, like where the loose hair is big. 
He looks like a fucking That's right. bear. Play poker where you show me that. Show me the pictures. <laughs> that guy is a tank. And yeah, I mean, they sounded like Pantera's sound from the nineties. Yeah, they're <laughs> yeah, they got hot. That guy's hilarious. But I want to say like he did this little sketch skit thing where he's like. If the cops come knocking on your door and they ask you if you've seen us, you tell them that, I don't know, like, we were here and then we just, like, booked, I don't know, it was, like, kind of funny, uh, a little, like, in-between thing between songs. That's awesome. <laughs> That's pretty funny. But, yeah, the, uh, if you, yeah, short and intense to be coalition, it's THC, and, like, all their logos for their stuff is, like, a pot leaf. <laughs> 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 Which makes sense. Really? Yeah, THC. <laughs> yeah. 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 How was that piss there? It was great. Oh, was it? It was actually super. <laughs> yeah. oh. What the fuck yeah. are you doing? I got shoes. You just worn your shoes. All those. Uh, yeah. Them off camera. Yeah. yeah. Our audience today. <laughs> Our, uh, the women folk back there. Yeah, we can edit that out. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, if I can figure out how to do that, <laughs> hopefully. <laughs> if, can, if, if I can not, figure people who are watching are going to be like, man, these guys are not technically savvy at all. It just went downhill. You know what I was <laughs> We just like metal. We yeah. decided to just talk about it. So uh, as an upcoming show, we got Nonpoint, point. Yeah. just playing at the Luna Lounge. Uh, was that next month? That was the 15th. November 15th. Yeah, next month. I, Hilariously enough, on the same day at the rave, there's Death Clock. And oh fuck, who is it? There's Machine, Machine Head, Head with them. I want to say yeah. Uh, ATR, I'm pretty sure is with them too. Yeah, that would be a oh, that, If I wasn't already going to Nonpoint, I would totally go there just to see Death Clock. See, I'm not a huge Death Clock fan. I'm more of like Machine Head. I love right, no, I mean, I, I, yeah, I liked Machine Head, or I just recently listened to Machine Head, mm. and I love their latest album. Um, I haven't gotten a chance to listen to their all, all other stuff. I listened yeah, to the first was album, which was, which was, I, I liked the first album. The newest one. The, no, no, I liked their first album. Oh, like, the, the newest eyes. one, yeah, the newest one, Locust, I, I very much enjoyed. I loved it. So you like Burn My Eyes, too? That was the first album. That was the first one. I, I liked it, yeah, I did. Yeah. But, I was going to say, I, like, I would really want to see Death Clock just because of Metalocalypse. Okay. Have you ever seen that? I've seen a little bit of it. God, it's so funny. There, uh, so there's those two shows, and then Hurt is playing. Hurt at, is playing, yeah. Creepy right, Distillery. At the, that's another concert venue. Oh, yeah, yeah, Distillery's not too bad. I mean, you know, you guys will be we just, see, we went to see Deuce, Deuce there. Yeah, and Deuce. Deuce, yeah we, did I tell them we drank with Deuce? Deuce? Yeah. It was fucking. It was fucking awesome. Deuce, you're the shit. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck Hollywood Undead. Man. I kind of I miss him in Hollywood Undead. He pretty much was. He very yeah. much was a talent in Hollywood Undead. Yeah, I mean, and it actually shows. I I never really bought when I was younger when artists would leave a group that with that person leaving they lost a certain touch to their to their sound. Mm -hmm. But the first time I noticed it was with Corn when Head left, and holy shit! I mean, I love Corn to death, and I still love their sound currently. But you could tell that first album after Head had left that they lost that sound, mm -hmm. that heavy, uh, the heavy sound of the guitar. So take a look in the take a look at the take lyrics, look at like the, their fifth album. Yeah, and um, Untouchables. Untouchables was the f I want to say the first one without Head. Was it okay? Because um, Y'all Want a Single is on Take a Look in the Mirror, I'm pretty sure. Mm. And for the longest time, I didn't think he was in that music video, but then I like rewatched it recently, and he was. So, uh, But yeah, so that, even that song still had that the heavy sound of it. And then, yeah, Untouchables, or er, yeah, was the one after that. And it very much lost his sound. But then, yeah, then with Hollywood Undead and Deuce... His, his, his voice just really matches what they're doing. They've got that mm -hmm. perfect. Uh, to me, they've got that perfect rap rock combo. Mm -hmm. They're, I mean, you know, Rage kind of perfected that. 
in my mind, Limp Bizkit did a good job of that. Linkin Park originally did a good job of that. And then Hollywood and Dead kind of revived that maybe a little bit. They, I want to say they, they made it poppier as opposed to yeah, it being uh, a... Because uh, yeah, there's rage that had it being political where it's like the lyrics are meant to be powerful mm -hmm. to understand. And then uh, like Hollywood and Dead, on the other hand, it's, they're a, it's a party sound. There are, they do have some songs that are like deep or whatever, but they're just, like, it, it's just like a pop, like, granted, Rage Against the Machine's like a decade, like their last, latest yeah. albums are like well, a decade over, yeah, over been, that, yeah. It's been almost 14 years since their last original album. Oh, the original album, yeah, right, because, uh, Renegades, Renegades all, is all, are all covers. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, all, because, yeah, I mean, fuck, yeah, they're political versus Hollywood. Yeah, just like just the fact that they're they want to have a good they want to have a good time they're they're looking you know you you're at a party with a bunch of friends you're gonna turn on some Hollywood and Dead right most of your friends you not here though with. fucking party seat and sucked here <laughs> you're not really gonna turn on I mean unless there's like a group of us all partying yeah we're not really gonna have rage on most parties you go to aren't really gonna have rage I'm not a not at all. Yeah. They're gonna have fucking like Wiz Khalifa and Drake and all that. Yeah, one of my roommates oh all excited about Wiz Khalifa and, like <laughs> on the twenty seventh or something gonna be in Milwaukee. I'm like the, this I'm like, I, I don't care. Here. This don't girl care. that I know posted on her status Cabin Fever Two with oh, a heart yeah. I told you with a heart after it. I I thought she was talking about the movie mm -hmm. and so I just like went off on this like tangent. About how that movie is a piece of shit. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> how Eli Roth, like, had no part of it. Where, like, in the first one, he, that was his first movie. He directed it. He was in it. The movie was awesome. And so, like, a couple of other people, like, posted, uh, like, in response to my comment. Like, yeah, like, that movie sucks, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> and then she uh, types... I was talking about Wiz Khalifa. <laughs> <laughs> some Wiz Khalifa song or something. I like. Well, that's pretty shitty too. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> like I, I was embarrassed, but at the same time, I was like, "That still fucking sucks." <laughs> Either way, it sucks. Either way, Cabin Fever two, fucking terrible. So, I guess we could start winding up here a little bit. Yeah. Um, we don't have a whole lot of shows going. There. Just gonna say, but yeah. So I just got a um, I guess just... Yeah. Oh, well, I was gonna say, uh, did you guys hear about, or see that new video for the band called I Am War? It's like the lead singer of Atreyu and like one of the guitar players from Bleeding Through, if you've ever heard of that. I've not heard of Bleeding Through. I've seen yet. Atreyu live. So have I. What'd you think? Think? I liked it. I didn't like I, it. I didn't like well, it. Well, where did you see him? Did you see him? Project Revolution? Or outside? Outside? I saw them Project Revolution outdoors. outside yeah. and like, oh wait. Did you see him outdoors? I want to say I might have seen him at that same tour, yeah. Because I saw him outdoors at the Mayhem Festival and I thought they sucked. And then uh, one of my best friends, Dustin, saw him in London. Open, for... Open for... I can't remember who they opened for, but he said they were awesome in an arena compared to outside. Oh. So, I don't, I, I don't really see how there would be a difference between indoor and outdoor shows. I mean... Well, it's just the okay. sound is totally different. You no, know, because it's in a confined area. It's totally closed in. But does the sound really play an effect into the overall experience of a show? I mean, granted, oh, I would say definitely. Well, I mean, yeah. I mean, yeah. granted, I mean, like you can have like acoustics be a little bit worse when you're outside, but I feel that the presence of a band is what, or their stage presence is what makes or breaks it for me. Okay. Well, I mean, yeah, that totally is a huge part of it, but I would say when you're in an arena, like, the sound guy, like, for the, like, obviously the arena has, like, you know, sound guy. Sure. For, like, multiple sound guys, and, like, they're able to You totally, would have that outside, too, Yeah, though. well, I mean, they're able to totally control everything. Like, there's PA and speakers, like, everywhere. Whereas when I saw them at the Mayhem Festival, they were on, like, the Ye like a Jaeger stage, which the is just, like... Stage? Well, I mean, I mean... Not the main stage. It's usually like it a second or third Yeah, it's like... Right. Yeah. yeah, and like, it's just out of the back of a semi. What? Yeah, like they just <laughs> out of the side of a semi, oh. and it's like the stage. Are you serious? Yeah, and like, I don't know, most... Okay, yeah, I mean... 
Lots when you mention that, that though. could definitely sound like shit. Yeah, but I don't know. Like I've seen shadows fall there and stuff, and like perform out of a bag of a semi. Yeah, and they were awesome. What? Yeah, and like Behemoth was there. Um, who else? Three inches of blood. Trivium. We saw there once. All that remains. It was a Trivium. Like yeah, I don't know. All those bands sounded great, but I don't know. Just something about a trade. Like that baffles me. <laughs> yeah. Like that's what the semi is for. Like they just fold down the side of it, and that's. Like the stage. Oh, fuck. And then they set up, like, the PA, like, around it and stuff. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Nice, but perfect. Yeah. But then the, the only other thing I was going to say was, have you guys ever heard of the band Insomnium? Insomnium? Insomnium. Not, like, Insomnium? No. With an M at the end? Yes, with an M. What the hell does that mean, then? I don't know what it means, but... <laughs> <laughs> they're, the, they're a Finnish metal band, and they just came out with a oh, new video, uh, like... I want to say yesterday, maybe, or today even, and like, I don't know, I thought the video was really cool. They like, it's one of those videos where it's like, the band is like, playing live, but like, obviously the song's dubbed over it, mm -hmm. but it's like them playing it live, like, to a huge crowd, it's all in like, black and white, I'm pretty sure, which I don't know, I thought was pretty cool. <laughs> I, I always like videos like that, where it's like, the video is them like, playing for it's a big just stuff. them playing, yeah, yeah it's always kind of like that. It's always kind of cool. I want to say... My favorite video of something like that is a corn video. I can't think of the name of the song on the top of my head. Like, what's the fa What's your favorite uh, like artist or song that you pick been a song? To? Song of the week or yeah, our artist? Yeah, I just did this on my blog. Let's see, what did I do this past week? Come back to me on this one. Do you know? You, your, uh, I do a song of the week on my blog every week. Well, so it doesn't have to be a song. It could be an artist if you want. Well, uh, uh, like I said, I love Europop. I'm definitely hooked. <laughs> I was showing it was zero pop. Yeah. Yeah. I'm definitely hooked on Ina's Caliente song. Okay. I really like what I've been listening to a lot this week was, well, last week too, actually, if it counts, but if we're going to do this every week. <laughs> um, I was going to say the new Baroness album I was listening to a lot last week, or um, Gojira's newest album. I don't know how to say it because it's French. <laughs> that, their new album is fucking kick ass. Like, I love it. I can listen to it whenever. It's great. So, I like that. Yeah, I would say Gojira. Yeah, Ino, Ino's Caliente or anything by Ino, really. I like Ye this yesterday, song India. Yesterday was her birthday, so Ino. Oh. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Great Big month. Is coming up with great month's birthday. Happy oh. birthday, you know. <laughs> I'll, send the, I'll send the new Hell Yes CD. I mean, oh, I no. bought it, and okay. it's just completely badass, since as I talked about it earlier. I mean, Warren in here. Warren, Warren <laughs> Me is is the opening track. Warren, the new yeah. Band of Brothers, Drink, Drank, Drunk. That is a pretty good song. Dude, it's just... If <laughs> Drink, Drink, Drunk, is that a cover? I don't know if it's a, a cover or not. It's a play song? Of oh, what? Into flag, or maybe uh, no. no you're facts. thinking, it, no, you're thinking, it, it's drink, drink, uh, drink, drink, punk, yeah, yeah. yeah if you're just, if you're just on a night where you just want to get, maybe when you guys go to a play, drink, drink, drunk, drink, drink, drunk, drunk sounds drunk. right. Yeah. Well, I, mean, I don't, I don't this, think this person's uh, pretty hardcore though. So how think, long is the song? Probably about three and a half, four minutes. Okay, and then it's not a cover because <laughs> that <laughs> song is like a minute long. Well, even okay. then, yeah, yeah. I, I, yeah. I don't think. Like, hell yeah, would cover. I sure hope so. Yeah, so when you guys are partying in Eau Claire, get that jamming and just start <laughs> doing shots or something. I'm going to probably be sleeping by that time, but I'll be up early the next morning. But yeah, it's, I mean, it's a great CD. And, you know, like, I've liked some other stuff that Hell Yeah has done, but if you really want the roots, you know, mm -hmm. if you really want just metal in general, Benny Paul doing phenomenal. Yeah, Benny Paul, the drums in this CD, is just great. Like, I'm more of a guitar guy than I am drums, but. I catch myself always following what Vinnie Paul's doing in, in the CD, and it's just great. It's, it's phenomenal. There, there's a pretty funny video of Vinnie Paul that I, that I know I linked to him. Yeah, the, the Jaeger video, yeah. Vinnie Paul literally buys $999, and is it 97 cents? It's a lot. Worth of pure Jaeger. Like a billion <laughs> handles. Yeah. He's like, yeah. <laughs> just like... You like he even before he goes into the store, he's like, oh, "We're gonna buy a thousand dollars worth of Jaeger." Pulls it with a cart, just pulls off every bottle off the shelf, and then he's like paying. And I, yeah, I want to say it's like nine nine hundred ninety nine, like ninety seven cents. 
But then the uh, the guy that owns the store goes in the back mm -hmm. and gives them like three or four like cases of those small like mini shot. Oh, the mini bottle ones. Yeah. yeah. Oh, and, and so sweet. he starts drinking those like in the store <laughs> and in the parking lot. And in the parking lot, there's like this random black guy that comes up to him. They like pull out this like microphone stand, and the, the black guy's like yelling into it, and then Vinnie Paul does like this. Super like country sort of like rap into it and then like they get the video. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. And then um I guess uh, before we before we close out here plug your plug, plug yourself. Your, plug right. yourself. Yeah, I'm Ryan from ninety three rock, uh ninety three point one, ninety three point five, FM on your dial, ninety three rock on dot com. I do my own blog, I do it on music, rock music, um sports. Anything goofy I can kind of find, like any goofy YouTube videos, uh, it's tazithoughts.wordpress.com. Tazi is just a nickname of mine. T O Z Z I thoughts.wordpress.com. Check it out. Uh, let me know what you think. Like, um, basically, what we kind of did here, you know, we all kind of chose something that we really like to listen to. I do a different song every week I choose, whether it's from like 19 fucking 60 or <laughs> something new. Now. I've been kind of going the new route lately because I feel like there's been a lot of good new singles been released and things like that. So, um, yeah, I do just weekends 2 to 7 central time here in Wisconsin. So, love it. Radio's a great route. And appreciate you guys having me on. Hopefully, I can do this more with you throughout. Well, like, I hope that we can actually do this more. In yeah, the yeah, this is our first show. And I guess, and on that note, we can just. Cheers to that. Cheers to metal. Nastrovia. Salud.